A whimsical journey into the sleep technique of Salvador Dali. Once upon a time, in the wacky world of Salvador Dali, where melting clocks and whimsical elephants roamed freely, there existed a sleep technique so peculiar that even the quirkiest of dreamers would raise an eyebrow. So gather around my friends, as we embark on a journey into the surrealist slumber and discover the secrets of his artistic brilliance. Picture this, the eccentric Dali, with his signature moustache and flamboyant attire, ready to unlock the enigmatic wonders of his dreams. In his quest to tap into the depths of his subconscious, he concocted a method he called, slumber with a key. Oh, it's no ordinary key, mind you. It was a heavy metal key that held the key to unlocking Dali's wild imagination. As the clock struck bedtime, Dali would take a seat in his comfiest chair, clutching that hefty key in one hand. Now, don't forget the most important part of this whimsical ritual, a trusty tin tray or plate placed strategically on the floor below him. Yes, my friends, we're about to add some musical pizzazz to this sleepy symphony. With the stage set, Dali closed his eyes and began his descent into the realm of dreams. As he drifted off, the weight of the key slowly slipping from his grasp, a moment of anticipation hung in the air. And then, like a slapstick comedy routine, the key would clatter onto the tray, jolting Dali awake in a flurry of excitement and wonder. Can you imagine the scene? Dali, with his eyes wide open, frantically searching for his trusty sketchbook, which he kept conveniently nearby. There was no time to waste. The images and sensations from his fleeting hypnagogic state, where reality and dreams intertwined, were begging to be captured on paper before they vanished into the ether. Dali's sketches became a wild kaleidoscope of melting clocks, lobster telephones, and fantastical creatures that seemed to have escaped from a Salvadorian circus. His dreams were like a surreal buffet of inspiration, and he hungrily devoured each bizarre vision as if it were the last slice of a cosmic pizza. Critics, of course, couldn't resist poking fun at Dali's unorthodox approach. They scoffed, claiming that his reliance on chance and the absurdity of dreams couldn't possibly yield meaningful art. But oh! How they underestimated the genius of the mustachioed maestro. Dali's sleep technique was his whimsical portal to a world beyond logic, where the impossible became possible, and creativity knew no bounds. The legacy of Dali's sleep technique lives on, inspiring artists and dreamers to this day. Who knew that such a peculiar routine, with its clattering key and unconventional dreams, could birth masterpieces that would captivate the art world for generations. Dali's slumber became a testament to the power of imagination and the audacity to explore the depths of one's mind, no matter how peculiar the path may seem. So, my friends, the next time you find yourself in a sleepy stupor, don't be afraid to embrace the whimsy of your dreams. You never know what fantastical creations may arise when you dare to wander into the realm of the absurd. Just remember the tale of Salvador Dali and his slumber with a key, and let your own surreal adventure unfold, one dream at a time. A Slumber Junction Production